Hello everyone, happy Friday. It's a gorgeous Friday here in New York City. It's nice and sunny outside. Well, it was sunny just a couple seconds ago. <laughs> now there are clouds, but just a couple seconds ago it was sunny. But um, anyway, it's a beautiful Friday here in New York City and I hope it's gorgeous and enjoyable wherever you are. This is episode two of Fearless Fridays. And today I wanna talk about something that I consider kind of the basis for dealing with fear. This is how I deal with my own fear. This is how I tell other people to deal with their fear if they ask me. And it's something that I call unpacking your fear, unpacking your fear. And this is a way, this is a way that I use to get to the basis of my fear and start to overcome it by unpacking it. So what I like to do is I like to ask three main questions. And of course, other questions may come up, a discussion may happen, but these are the three main questions that I like to ask when I am unpacking my fear or getting to the base of my fear. The first question is, what are you afraid of? Plain and simple. It sounds really simple, it sounds really basic, but a lot of times people have a split second knee jerk reaction to something and it's a fearful reaction and they're like, oh my goodness, I would be so afraid to do that. That would give me so much anxiety or that would terrify me. But they don't even know what they're afraid of. They can't articulate what they're afraid of. So my question is, what are you afraid of? Do you think you're gonna die? Like that would be the most drastic outcome of any situation is death. Do you think you're gonna die? Do you think that maybe someone is going to shun you? Do you think you won't be accepted? Do you think that you'll be judged? Do you think that you'll be injured? Do you think you're gonna lose something that's of great importance to you? Or do you think that you're just not gonna gain anything at all out of the situation? That's question number one. What are you afraid of? What do you think is going to happen to you? Or what do you think the outcome will be if you do this thing or if you have this experience? So that's question number one. Question number two is, where did this fear come from? A lot of times people, again, have a knee-jerk, split-second reaction to something, some stimuli, and it's a fearful reaction. Um, and if you ask them, where did the fear come from? Again, they can't articulate it. Um, and you know, we move about in these family circles and our social circles and our friend groups and our work uh, business groups or whatever and um, people project their feelings about certain things onto us so you talk about a certain experience that you may want to have something that you're thinking about doing and because someone in one of those circles has never had the experience or had a bad experience doing that thing immediately they start telling you what happened to them oh my god this is what happened to me or this is what i heard happened to someone else and they start projecting that fear onto you now then again you have situations where you know you have had a personal experience with something and so your fear is not unfounded your fear is based in reality your fear is based in a personal real experience you can deal with that but if your fear is based on someone else just telling you i would never do that or this is what happened to me this is what happened to my friend if your fear is based on someone else's experience you kind of got to shake that off don't carry other people's fear on you so that's the second question i like to have is where did the fear come from and the third question i like to ask is is there any example that you can find where someone did this thing and they had a positive or a favorable outcome? Whether it's, again, a personal experience, whether it's someone in your family, someone in your friend group, someone who you don't even know, who you've never met, who you read about in a magazine. Anyone at all who has had this experience and had a positive or favorable outcome can you find that person? If you can find that person, or if you can find um, that example of a person having a favorable outcome, then you know this thing, whatever this thing is, is possible. It's possible to do this thing and have a favorable or positive outcome. So those are the three questions I like to ask to get to the bottom of my fear and to help other people get to the bottom of their fears. What do you think will happen where did the fear come from? And can you find any example in life, in the world, of someone having this experience and having a positive, favorable outcome? Three questions, very, very simple. And that will help you unpack your fear, get to the bottom of it, 
get to the basis of it and then overcome it. If you find that your fear is based simply in the unknown, you know, no one around me has had this experience, you know, I don't know what will happen to me. Maybe I'll have a great time. Maybe I won't. I don't think I'm going to die. You know, if you find that your fears are, if you find that these questions are bringing you to answers that are kind of based in nothing, then you know that this is something that you can overcome. This is a fear that you can overcome. So really ask yourself those questions. Really, really start to unpack your fear. Don't let it rule you. Don't just say, oh my gosh, I would be so terrified to do that or I would have so much anxiety without asking yourself those questions, asking yourself those whys, you know, or where's or what's. Ask yourself those questions, unpack your fear, get to the bottom of it, get to the basis of it, and then you can start to overcome it. Remember, fear is stupid. So in all things, live, love, go, do, be. Have an amazing Friday. We don't sit on couches. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.